Okay, folks, so what we've got now is we've got an Adafruit Feather Huzzah ESP8266 talking to uh, two of these SHT10 temperature humidity sensors that can be buried in soil along with an AM2315. And uh, all this has been uh, coated now to work with the Feather Huzzah, as you can see from the sketch on the left. Uh, I've got my serial terminal uh, open. The associated sketch has been uploaded. The numbers look reasonable, fairly close to one another, similar to uh, uh, what I recorded with my data logger experiment. And there's the wiring that I tested uh, just now um, to work with the associated sketch. Okay, folks, now that I know that the uh, breadboard circuit works, um, the next thing I had to do was uh, revise the code to post to a suite of Adafruit I.O. feeds. And you can see that I've got those feeds identified right here in my code. I went ahead and I created them in the Adafruit I.O. Um, console. And the code is currently posting all that data accordingly to, um, to those respective feeds. So the, the next thing I need to do is actually create a dashboard to capture and uh, display all this data that's being uh, recorded. A couple observations I'll make is that uh, because I'm using the free account, um, I'm only posting data every 30 seconds uh, because the uh, free account is rate limited. And let me take a look. I wrote it in the comments of the code. Uh, we're limited to uh, 30 data points per minute. So uh, the bottom line is, is that you want to take that into consideration and the fact that uh, you'll also be limited to 10, uh, 10 data feeds. So uh, if you need more than that, uh, certainly consider uh, supporting Adafruit with a uh, $100 per year subscription. Uh, but for initial testing, we're good. My goodness, 30-second uh, resolution on, on uh, humidity and temperature data is huge. Um, it's just amazing that we can uh, pull this off with off-the-shelf uh, components and free accounts. So uh, that will suffice for now as far as this test is concerned. All right, so the next thing I did was go into Adafruit's I.O. Um, console, and I created a new dashboard here, and you can see it's called ADEQ Multi-Sensor Test. And uh, what that will let me do is uh, basically visualize or host all those feeds that are reflected in my code. So let me go ahead and click on that. And here's the data. This was really easy to set up. It's just basically a point-and-click process for uh, uh, determining how you want your data to be uh, displayed. Now you may be noticing something interesting here in the humidity profile. Uh, you may notice that there's a lot of noise associated with my deep humid uh, sensor, which is one of the SHT10 uh, uh, sensors. And the reason that happened was the sensor was actually, <laughs> I noticed, was located right next to my mouse. So uh, my hand was actually uh, uh, realizing impact on the humidity profile for what was being registered by that sensor. So that's pretty cool, man. That's a sensitive uh, instrument. And it, again, it just blows me away that all this stuff is available off the shelf for, uh, for these kinds of experiments. So of course, this isn't uh, <laughs> going to be very uh, field worthy. So uh, what I've done is I've uh, basically mapped the same thing to a uh, proto board uh, and included some terminal headers that I can screw the leads from uh, all three temperature sensors uh, onto the same. Uh, that'll look a lot cleaner once we get it all soldered up and, uh, and deployed in a box outside.